licensed to serve the Burlington, Iowa, USA area, the station is currently owned by John M. Genettino and features programming from ESPN Radio, Motor Racing Network and Westwood One. The call letters subsequently changed to KKUZ, Your Country Cousin, as the station became an outlet for country music. Studios for the AM station were located in a three-story brick building at 408 North Main Street in downtown Burlington. The transmitter site was constructed on a pasture north of town along Irish Ridge Road. KCPS has a directional array consisting of three two 14-foot towers and a daytime power output of 500 watts. In the late 1970s the sign-on became locked in at 6 a.m., but the sign-off time occurred at sundown. The FCC changed the rules for daytime stations in the 1980s and which enabled KCPS to broadcast at night with the transmitter power reduced to 67 watts. CPS stands for Country Bullet and Sound, a term the new owners defined as a cross between country music and adult contemporary. The morning man during this era was Wayne Smith, who also served as program director. Terry Anderson was news director for the station, coming to KCPS from crosstown rival KBUR. Top of the hour newscasts for the rest of the day were handled by the program hosts. David Ostmo was promoted to program director after Wayne Smith departed in 1979. The approach was to play rock that sounded like country and country that sounded like rock. Charlie Daniels, Bob Seeger, The Eagles, The Little River Band, Elvis, Kenny Rogers, and Dolly Parton were some of the artists receiving considerable airtime. Daryl Michelson moved from Fairbury, Nebraska to replace Smith as the new morning man. He took advantage of the urban cowboy craze and returned the station to its country music roots. The station was not affiliated with any major radio network until 1981 when KCPS signed up with the ABC Contemporary Radio Network. In the same time frame town and country broadcasting lost a long-fought battle with another company to acquire an FM license. It was a major blow to the owners who hoped to level the playing field with KBURKGRS. Music programs with local DJs gave way to talk-driven programs, both local and syndicated including a popular local morning talk show called The Big Show Incorporated, Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Jonathan Brandmeier, Michael Savage, and Mark Levin. For 28 years KCPS has broadcast every Chicago Bears game, and every NFL playoff series, and every Super Bowl. Same in MLB, including the Chicago Cubs, every playoff series and every World Series game. They painted a large mural on the exterior of the downtown studios depicting ladies of the evening through open windows. It was said that the building, originally constructed in 1870, was once a brothel on the upper floors. The cars had been prepped for destruction by having the motor oil drained and replaced with a sodium silicate solution. Five of the six vehicles were nearly instantly destroyed, however, the sixth vehicle a Nissan hard-body truck ran for over 30 minutes until finally succumbing to the sodium silicate. Along with the live streaming, there is also an archive available of previously aired programs. Hoffman broadcast his 10,000th radio show, highlighted by an official city proclamation from Burlington Mayor Shane McCampbell commemorating the occasion.